I came to UNLV from China one year ago. When I was here, I was very upset because there was no authentic Chinese restaurant on campus. Don't tell me Panda Express. <laughs> then I went to my Chinese friend. Where will you go for Chinese food? Chinatown. It does make sense. Then I continued to ask, where will you go if you have a chance to dining out or bring a group of American friends to dining out? Chinatown. That became interesting. Why all my Chinese friends always choose to eat in Chinese restaurant over other ethnic restaurants? Why they don't eat? Then I focus my study on consumers' food consumption, particularly on ethnic food. I found a factor that's called food sensory appeal, which is influential on humans' intention to try ethnic food. And within this factor, there are actually four attributes associated with the ethnic food that play something: their appearance, scent, taste, and texture. Because of my curiosity, I actually did the study. I surveyed both Chinese international students who are currently studying in the U.S. and Chinese tourists who have visited the U.S. within the last 18 months. Although we know those two samples are kind of different, however, I obtained the exactly same result, and it's very surprising because only the texture within this factor seems to be significant. Why? When I go back to look at this again, I figure out texture is the only thing that you actually have the biological or chemical interaction with the ethnic food in your mouth. So it makes sense because if you know you are going to try something you never had before, you are going to try something you are not familiar with, you have already assumed that it's something may look different, smell different, taste different. However, when you are going to bite it, you are able to swallow it. That's fine. That's the key of the texture. Last year, the、uh, Chinese international student actually contributed three billion dollar to the U.S. dining industry, and the Chinese tourist contributed thirty-five billion U.S. dollars. So then, I think my finding can actually tell the restaurant owners, particularly those authentic、uh, ethnic restaurant owners, if you want to cater this potential booming market, it is not necessary to sacrifice the authenticity of the way you prepare the food, you cook the food. You may just want to switch the raw materials to something Chinese customer familiar with, or have your server to explain the food well. And more importantly, we Chinese really like eating. And if we can eat more other food, we will make more friends. We will have more interaction, and we will be so excited. Actually, I'm so excited to participate in this competition because I can meet so many friends like Dave in this competition. <laughs> and I would like to go to different kind of ethnic rounds at restaurants in Las Vegas to go with all my friends I meet here because I know. Not all the delicious restaurants in Las Vegas are all located in Chinatown. Thank you.